Hello, everyone. I'm Adam with DD Beyond. Thank you for joining me for this week's development update and community QA session. I'm going to try to start the Stream Heroes boss for today and see if it actually works. Um, we've got uh, Toby is back again today. So good luck to everyone. Hopefully, you will be able to actually defeat him this time. He laughed about it. He snarled about it. He really had just uh, quite a, an old hoot about you not defeating him the last time we were together. So hopefully uh, you're going to have your act together a little bit more today and you'll be able to be triumphant against Toby the werewolf. So good luck with all of that. I think all of the summons are probably already gone. Uh, those uh, those go pretty quickly, but uh, I do want everyone to keep in mind with Stream Heroes, you really are all, all on the same team. Even if you don't get a summon that you can go out there and roll the dice, if you defeat the monster, everyone gets a chance that's in chat. Everyone gets a chance for that uh, legendary bundle giveaway. So good luck to everyone out there. Everyone's working together here. So please uh, you know, don't uh, get too jealous over your friends getting those summons because you're all working together to make this happen. All right. You know the drill at this point. I don't even know why I go through this slide other than to show off beautiful pieces of art like these candles. I just, uh, this is actually uh, kind of zooming in on the Tasha's Cauldron of Everything cover. And I just wanted to show off the intense detail that's going on with these candles and books here uh just just looks really really stellar uh but latest updates upcoming and then of course as much time for questions as possible at the end so latest updates work in progress is tasha's cauldron of everything as it has been for some time this is a very big book and the team is working literally non-stop i mean we even have uh, all kinds of other things going on in the world right now. The team is just working tirelessly to try to make this happen. I do want to uh, try to set some expectations out there in the community uh, because this book uh, is the, the biggest that we've seen so far for fifth edition outside of the player's handbook itself. And so, uh, you know, ton is going into this. Thankfully, we were able to a couple of months ago get a preview on uh, class feature variant options and some of those major, major systems uh, for this book. But I do want to just share with the community that we did not receive the final uh, text uh, for this book until a couple of weeks ago. And so uh, once we received that final text for the book, there were some new things in there that we were not anticipating that we had not roadmapped. Um, including things like sidekicks. Um, and so, uh, you know, now that we see exactly how those things work, we're going to do the best that we can in the time that we have uh, to get those in place. Uh, but this, uh, this also is the product where we are kind of drawing a line in the sand that we are making that commitment because it is a very impactful, important product. We are going to make all of the things work um, and you know whether we can get that done by the launch next week or not uh, kind of remains to be seen, but some of those things are going to have to be follows, but we're not going to be, uh, you know, thankfully uh, there's uh, at least uh, kind of a, a, an end of the year break before any other books come out or anything else like that. And so we're gonna be focusing on trying to deliver the functionality uh, that is in here. But unfortunately, we got eyes on it a couple of weeks ago and had a couple of surprises there. But I do want everyone to be pretty confident that uh, when it comes to subclasses, the class feature options, those kinds of things, we're going to be in pretty good uh, shape because thankfully we did have a couple of months where we at least got to see a preview. I previously told you that um, you know, there were some changes from the playtest versions of those. And that is where we saw that with that preview. And so we're working on it. Um, I, I am very confident that you will be able to play the characters that you want to play uh, by launch, but we're going to be working tirelessly uh, to get all those other things in place. So uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to ask those 
uh, in chat and I'll get to as many as I can at the end. Gifting uh, did go live a couple of weeks ago, but I wanted to call it out again here in um, an accent that is my own instead of a ridiculous uh, grating, irritating, uh, pseudo trying at British uh, vampire accent. Uh, but gifting is out there. So, uh, you know, this has been something that we've been looking forward to providing for some time. It's always just fell off the list when it comes to priorities. Thankfully, we were able to squeeze it in this year ahead of the holiday season. So, uh, please take advantage of that if you're wanting to, uh, you know, help your dungeon masters out or get someone else. Uh, you know, kind of onboarded onto D and D Beyond, and then we do have the Dice Alpha for subscribers uh, live for the the mobile app at this point. And then finally, I want to talk through some playtest content and Errata updates. So many of you saw that we have Errata that came in this. Uh, Wow, was that this week? We had a holiday in the middle of the week with Veterans Day yesterday, and so it has completely messed my schedule up. Uh, all of my rhythms are off. But uh, yeah, I think we got that this week. And so we are working on all of what's happening with that errata and responding to that. Of course, the priority right now is to get uh, everything handled for Tasha's uh, that, that we can handle. And so we're working on that, but um, we are going to get the errata in place. And then if you missed it, we got the way of the Ascendant Dragon and Drake Warden playtest content, uh, UA content up. And then finally, on the unearthed arcana front, uh, please keep in mind as Tasha's Cauldron of Everything goes live, we are going to end up with a scenario where some of those subclasses, many of those subclasses that you've been using in Unearthed Arcana will go archived. And this is also going to apply to things like spells. So uh, older versions, I'm trying to think of uh, some that we know are going to be updated where I'm not spoiling anything, but uh, where I, I, I have publicly seen us talking about um, that uh, some of the cantrips in, um, that were previously released in Sword Coast Adventures Guide that are reprinted in Tasha's are getting some updates. So the new, as always on d, &D Beyond, we always ever have the most up-to-date version of this content. And so if for whatever reason you're wanting to hold on uh, to the old versions of those, then you should create some characters with those options selected because um, that will allow you to keep that for those characters uh, and or uh, potentially uh, homebrew versions of those that you could use going forward. Otherwise, everything will be updated to what the official uh, rulings are on all of those uh, pieces of content. So you've got, uh, I, I think until tomorrow is when we're going to start archiving uh, you know, a good bit of that and updating some of that when it comes to the errata. So uh, keep, keep that in mind. I think there might be a forum post that uh, is hopefully going around in chat right now that's going to explain more details about that. And you can let me know if there are any questions as well. All right, so let's look at, uh, so Tasha's uh, has some uh, portrait frames uh, that I think are going to be pretty cool. I want to take this opportunity also to say that you know we have really uh, kind of been hit hard when it comes to design resources, actually, and so we are down a couple of designers on D and D Beyond, and with these portrait frames this time, that actually ended up uh, the these were done by yours truly. <laughs> So, so I had to step in here because we are strapped for designer resources right now. So I am mentioning this not to talk about and pat myself on the back for doing portrait frames, but to say we are hiring designers. So if you are a designer or if you know anyone who is awesome, please let them know that we are hiring designers and you or your friend could be doing these portrait frames in the future. Uh, but yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely looking for uh, some great people uh, to work on that. So let's look at, we've got Tasha's Cauldron of Everything Frames. So here is uh, a little uh, thing, puzzle thing. We've got uh, dragon tattoos. I like this construct one. <laughs> that looks pretty, pretty fun. Uh, crystal ball. 
homunculi because we just like that word. Um, and then we've got a couple of animated ones. So we've got a cauldron here. I like how it's bubbling up over the menu uh, there. And then uh, one of the spells that will be there in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, one of my favorites is Spirit Shroud. And so uh, we've done something with Spirit Shroud there. So uh, you can pre-order today for Tasha's Cauldron of Everything anytime before the release. And I think we'll have some more information since our uh, pre-order window was a little smaller. We might extend that a little bit, but um, if you pick that up, you'll be able to get those portrait frames as well. Uh, oh, we'll go through upcoming, upcoming, yes. So compendium quality of life updates. Uh, we've got uh, the Tales from Yawning Portal stuff has rolled out. I was actually meant to uh, take that off of there, but we're gonna continue to look at the next most popular adventure book and, and dive into that. So I'll update you next time on that. We've got rolling for ability scores. That has been sidelined due to the work on Tasha's Cauldron of Everything, but that is something that is upcoming. Uh, we talked about special rules and exceptions that uh, we're kind of drawing a line in the sand with Tasha's and wanting to really support and cover all of the things there. And we're going back to uh, cover a lot of the others with uh, life domain and, and some of those other rules exceptions uh, that we haven't covered in the past. And then our friend Laszlo a couple of weeks ago gave us a nice little preview of shared dice rolling. Very excited about that. We're gonna have more on that in the uh, you know, next few weeks and, uh, you know, probably show you some kind of demo at some point uh, during that. So uh, really, really looking forward to that. It's a, an enormous feature uh, that is going to make life really, really convenient for people playing, uh, whether you're using Zoom to play or even some of the other VTTs out there. Um, there there's a lot that this is going to offer and we're excited about seeing that come to fruition as well. Pre-order Tasha's Cauldron of Everything on D&D Beyond and unlock exclusive pre-order rewards, including digital dice.